Welcome to Tokyo, the literal translation of which is Eastern Capital, because this is the capital of Japan, the land of the rising sun. And with almost 38 million people living in the greater Tokyo region, it is a busy and vibrant city, and a city preparing to host the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. So in three years' time, the global sporting spotlight will be firmly focused on Tokyo. But for many years, this city has also played host to one of Badminton's top tournaments. All this week, the world's best players have been here at the Metropolitan Gymnasium for the Daihatsu Yonics Open Japan, the eighth event on the 12 tournament MetLife BWF World Super Series, the elite tier of tournament in the sport of badminton. 12 tournaments plus the end of year finale, the Super Series finals, and the destination once again is Dubai. Well, it's semi-finals day today, and we're starting with men's singles, and it's a repeat of the All England final. Lee Chong Wei, the defending champion and six-time winner of this event, is looking to reach his ninth final 
here in 11 years. He's up against Shi Uchi of China. Then it's uh, women's singles and the current world champion, Nozomi Okuhara, against the two-time former world champion, Carolina Marin. There is a little bit of worry about Okuhara. She's struggling with injury. But we hope that match will take place. Women's doubles will follow that. And Fukuman and Yono up against the qualifiers, Kim Ha Na and Gong Hee Young of Korea. Then the second of the men's singles, and it's the current world number one against the current world number two, Song Wan Ho of Korea. The world championship bronze medalist is up against the gold medalist from those recent world championships, Victor Axelsson of Denmark. Then it's men's doubles, and as with the previous match, it's the current world number ones against the number twos, a repeat of the final last week in Korea. And between these two pairs, they've won five of the seven Super Series events this year. It's Gideon and Sukamolio against Bo and Morgerson. Well, with men's singles being our first semi-final of the day, a chance for us to look at those destination Dubai rankings. Everybody changed position apart from the number one, Trikanth Kadambi, who's been in three Super Series tournament finals this year. But we've got three new players into the top ten, Wang Sun Wei and the two players who contested the final last week. The winner, Anthony Ding Jinting, has moved up 15 places from 22, and the beaten final Jonathan Christie up 11 places from 19 to be in that top 10. Well, as far as the draw is concerned, uh, in the men's singles, six different nations involved at quarter-final stage, seven of the eight seeds, and four seeds through to the semi-finals with three of the top four. Four different nations at semi-final stage, and it's only the second time that has happened this year in the men's singles discipline. The only previous time was in the Malaysian Premier Super Series. So we will be seeing both of those semi-finals. But the first one features the defending champion. He's been in eight finals. Lee Chong Wei, the number five seed this year, up against the number two seed, Shi Wu Qi from China. Well, he has a remarkable record. That does Lee Chong Wei. He has been in 99 international tournament finals. Today, it's possible he could make his 100th final. That would be just incredible. Well, the man in his way is the number two seed, Shi Wu Qi. And Shi Wu Qi is the number two seed because at the time of the entries, he was the world number two. It is the second consecutive year that these two players have met in this tournament. A year ago, it was in the quarter-final stage. And can you believe that the current number two seed in this event last year had to qualify for this tournament? And a year ago, it was only his second ever quarter-final in a Super Series tournament. So what a difference a year makes. Well, as far as Lee Chong Wei is concerned, he will be turning 35 next month. And as I say, he has been the former world number one. Born in Penang, he has been in eight finals over the last 10 years. Six times winner, 2007, 2010, 12, 13, 14, and 16. And as you can see, his path through to today's semi-final, when he had a tough first round against Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. And then in the quarter-final yesterday, against the number four seed, Chao Tian Chen. That also went the full distance. In both of those matches going to three games, it was the second game that Li Chong Wei dropped. His opponent, Shi Wuqi, 21 years of age, born in Nantong, uh, located on the northern bank of the Yangtze River in Jiangsu province. He is currently number four in the world, but he did spend one week as world number two. That was from the 24th of August. 
Well, as far as his tournament results so far here in Tokyo, his first two matches went the full distance. First round against Brice Lebedez of France, who is the man that beat Li Chong Wei in the first round of the World Championships. Samir Verma, the highly talented player from India in the second round, and then another talented player from India. Hasina Sunil Pranoy, who was semi-finalist at the Indonesia Super Series. So lovely to see Pranoy back in good form once again. Well, this will be the fourth meeting between these two players. Lee Chong Wei has won all three previous meetings, including, as I was telling you, in the final of the All England Championships earlier this year. 45 minutes for that victory in two straight games. In fact, all of their previous encounters have been two straight games. Wolfgang Lund is our umpire for this one from France, and Makoto Ueno of Japan is our service judge. So not only has Lee Chong Wei won all of their previous matches in two straight games, his opponent has never won more than 15 points against him in any game that they've played. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia. And on my left, Shi Ju Chi, China. Shi Ju Chi to serve. Love all. Play. So the first of our semi finals. The defending champion, far side of the court, Li Chong Wei. So I on a day when he no. could make his own little piece of history. He already holds the record as uh, the player who has won more Super Series titles than any other player across any discipline. And that, of course, includes doubles players who play doubles and mixed doubles. He has won 45 Super Series titles. I mean, being in 63 finals, that's a pretty good record, Two. isn't it? Love. Service over. One, two. So it's over. Three, one. Service over. Well, as far as Shi Uchi is Two. concerned, Three. looking to reach his third final of the year. Not only did he lose to his opponent of today in the All England Premier Super Series final, also lost in the final of the Swiss Grand Prix Gold the following week. And in Basel, in Switzerland, he lost out to his teammate, Lindau. Oh. Three. Oh. Oh! 
Oh, it's a good rally. This man has actually won a Super Series title. That was last year Four, in Paris three. at the French Open. Oh, prior to winning that French Open, Five, he'd never been beyond three. a quarter-final stage of a Super Series event. a little bit of drift in this magnificent Shots arena. Four, five. Pull. So this all that. Six, four. Didn't like that clear. Yeah, it was a nice punch clear earlier on in that rally. Seven. Consider Lu Chong Wei was 3 1 up. Xiu Chi has won seven four. of the last eight points. Subok, Malaysian coach. And Lee Chong Wei at the moment is not really Nine, commanded four. the rallies. It's been reactive instead of proactive. Oh, it's called good. There's a challenge here. Li Shangwei, challenges called in. Well, he watched it carefully. And it was clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Ten, four, play. Eleven, four. Well, this is extraordinary. Ten of the last eleven points. Now was Lee Chong Wei just holding his back there? He got that usual strapping on his knee. Yeah, there. Or was he just... No, I don't think he was holding on his back. Well, when you...
you consider that prior to today, Shi Uchi has never won more than 15 points in any of the six games within the three matches that they've played previously. For him to have just won 10 of the last 11 points is remarkable. Yeah, this is more like the Lee Chong Wei we're used to seeing. Well, he anticipated it. He was standing waiting at the net. And either lost sight of the shuttle. 12-6. Or just completely mistimed it. Drop shots, good disguise. No, Shi Uchi, so late to react to that, and that was purely because of the deception imparted by Li Chong Wei. Yeah, good attacking play from the Malaysian. Super variation from Xi Yu Chi. Straight at his opponent. 13, Just inside nine. that back line. Let's come back in. There's the sideways drift from left to 14, right nine. as we look down on the court. One looked initially as if it was going to go out, and because of the drift, it was brought back in. Fifteen. Yeah, nine. there's obviously some problem with the lighting there because that's a couple in that area that Li Chong Wei has completely mishit. Pushed him to the back, then Ten, made him move the 50. full diagonal of the court with the block to the net. And then played back to the same place. Oh. Yeah. Was waiting for that. Backhand across court, Shi Yu Chi. 
so at 16-10, he's now won more points in this opening game than he's ever won before in a match against Lee Chong Wei. Not going to be a tar match in any ten. of the games within the match. Oh, that's super. Well, there's a challenge here from Shi Yu Chi, but I was absolutely in. convinced that was inside the line. But we'll wait for Hawkeye to adjudicate for us. Well, Hawkeye says plumb on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Same so outcome. Point to Lee Chong Wei. Eleven, sixteen, play. Yeah. No mistake with the timing on that one. Yeah, simple little block, but the big key came from above the shuttle. Well, had so many options. 15. Landed in. That's a super it's clear it's from Shi Yu Chi. Way left stranded. Look at that. Absolute perfection right into that deep backhand corner. some Malaysian fans, or certainly some Lee Chong Wei fans. He's got fans all over the world, and rightly so. 13, 17. Oh. Something. It's believable again, isn't it, for Lee Chong Wei that he can close this down? Now there's only two points in it. Super. He's mixing up the direction of his smashes, Lee Chong Wei, quite beautifully. Previous one was down the forehand side of Chi Yu Chi. There's the 17. Chinese coaching bench. Sha Shuanzhe was the man nearest to us. Nice. 
very nice. Target's over. Oh, indecision. a couple of defensive shots from Lee Chong Wei that were absolutely superb. That was one of them. The block across courts played to perfection. It had gone way past him, that smash, and somehow Lee Chong Wei still had the technical skills to block that across court. That is phenomenal. Sometimes it's a rally like that that can change a match. Just one point in it. Time the judgment was sound from Lee Chong Wei leaves it and it drops long. And having been seven points adrift at the mid game interval, now Lee Chong Wei back level 18 all. Lovely angle Service over. from Shi Yu Chi. I do love his jump smash. He's got legs and movement that remind me so much of former All England 19, champion Xiao Jin Hua. 18. Xiao Jin Hua, of course, also world champion in 1991. Oh, the flick serve is long. Service over. What a time to play your first service error. 19 all. Who's got the nerve? Well. The game point opportunity is with Lee Chong Wei. And that smash into the net looked a little bit nervous 19. to me from Shi Yu Chi. Opening game 21 19. What an incredible comeback! after losing 10 of 11 points in the opening stages of that first game to come through 21-19 in 22 minutes. Well, it's no wonder this man has been in so many international tournament finals. One game away now from his 100th final. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>
你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有意思你不要有
not high enough or deep enough from the Malaysian. the first smash purely as a means to set himself up for the final kill straight at his opponent knew it had to be a block and it's a simple put away was taken with the drift. Just indicates he wants the shuttle changed. And I told you the years that Lee Chong Wei had won this title. Three. Two times he was beaten ten. in the final was 2008 and 2011. Eight-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game, having already won the first. And Lee Chong Wei just ten points away from a ninth final in 11 years here at the Japan Open. Tesu Bok bo looking a little more relaxed now. Mm. Well, the scoreline is not that different to the opening game at the big game interval. Of course, it was an 11 4 advantage for Shi Wu Chi. So Li Chong Wei can't afford to relax because of his opponents. Can fail to convert with that sort of advantage, any player can. But that's not helping Xi and Chi's cause. Yeah, looking a little resigned well, to defeat, I think, three. head coach Charles Renzo. like that and he forced the lift by making Lee Chong Wei move the full diagonal of the court from the deep back backhand corner to the forehand net oh that's magnificent Ah, very much like that shot. Five, twelve. So the solo. Yeah, 
Shiyuchi on full stretch. 13. Due to the disguise Five. on the drop shots and the placement. Well, I said in the opening game, the variation on the attacking play from Lee Chong Wei was superb. They're mixing it up again, straight at his opponent. Sit them down the line, he's hit them across court, he's used Five. acute angles, he's used drop shots, he's used power play. Yeah, a look of desperation towards his coach there. Now, oh, another net cord for which he apologizes. Sixteen five. Just on cruise control now. Seventeen five. Oh, good retrieving. Yeah, and it was worth the effort. Three points away from making it three figures as far as the total number of international tournament finals is concerned. Good lengths on that lift. Six. Eighteen. Oh. Oh, she was that. on his way to the back of the court. Nineteen six. Oh! Great. Oh, I was going to say great defence, but it actually went into the net. My goodness me. I didn't think he was even going to get his racket on it. Look at this. Well, that's the sort of angle that Shi Yu Chi needs to be playing. Seven ninety. Opportunities, a whole host of them for Lee Chong Wei to write his own little bit of history. 20 match point eight. That's gone wrong, and Lee Chong Wei 
is through to his ninth final here at the Japan Open in 11 years. And even more remarkable than that incredible statistic is the fact that tomorrow he will contest his hundredth international Wayne, tournament 21, final. 19, that is amazing. Both men know the significance of what Lee Chong Wei has achieved. He and his coach embrace at the end of the match uh, because that is remarkable. Two straight games coming from a seven-point deficit in the opening game at the mid-game interval to win in two straight games. 21-19, 21-8 in 39 minutes.